parang first impression review of what's in this box. So, malamang nakita nyo na rito sa ibang YouTubers because it launched early this August. And inside this box is Althea's first ever product. Yung as in Althea mismo yung gumawa. It's this one that comes in this box. First, let's talk about the obvious. Itong box na to. Ang cute-cute lang, diba? This is just a PR package. Ayan. Ang cute-cute lang niya. Mayroon siyang pack dito ng kukuri. Ang sobrang bango niya. Sobrang bango ng box actually pagbukas. And then, it has itong mga dried um, oranges and lime. Parang mga citrus. Which is you can add to the kukuri as well. And then, we have this one. Itong parang Instagram Pwede pwede siya gamitin kapag magpo-post or sa mga flat lace, ganyan, diba? And then, ang cute, ang daming pink na, what's this? Um, parang confetti or parang nest yung itsura niya sa akin. Ayan, dyan, napapel. Ang cute-cute lang. Ito yung box ng pinaka-product. Hindi ko pa ito nabubuksan. Hindi ko siya agad nagamit kasi nagkasakit ako ng ilang linggo. Basta sunod-sunod yun. And I don't want to use any makeup that time kasi ayoko makontaminate yung mga makeup ko. And lalo na to, syempre bago pa siya. So, yun. Kaya medyo late din to. I'm sorry for that. Pero sana manood pa rin kayo kasi iba, I believe iba pa rin naman yung magiging experience ko. And actually, hindi ko pa pinanood yung ibang reviews or binasa yung ibang reviews about this para somehow it will still come out as first impression talaga sa akin. Ito yung packaging niya. Cute lang. Parang siyang mini Althea box na yung ganito. Kasi like, yung sa gilid. Ayan. Halos same lang sila. And then pink, same color. And then, instead of the whole um, Althea logo here, you have a small, parang letter A na logo dyan for Althea. Nice naman yung packaging niya. Simple lang, but um, it doesn't look cheap at all. Ayan. Meron pa siya dyang seal. Um, it, has, it says 30 day unconditional returns guarantee. You can return this product if ever it has any problem. Sa likod, um, ayan yung Althea logo and then may mga details and pero hangul sila mostly. I wish Althea did put English translations of everything here para lang mas naiintindihan, di ba? Anyway, meron din naman dun sa website nila ng English descriptions and all of that. So sa baba, it has this um, ayan, hindi ko pala na-mention. Yun yung name ng pinaka-product. It's called the Petal Velvet Powder. Pag-open natin, um, ito siya. So, ayan siya. Malaki yung tub niya. Um, and it's, it actually is made of plastic, but it looks like a frosted glass. Ang ganda lang, ba? Hindi siya mukhang parang chipipay lang, or hindi siya mukhang pucho-pucho lang, ba? And, ayan. So, ito yung cap. It comes in this pink color pa rin. The, Althea color, and then yung logo dyan. Here at the bottom, we have the Althea logo, the product name, with some descriptions or information that are written in Hangul, and I can't read them, so, yan. Pero merong, again, made in Korea, and then the batch code and expiration date. Tapos, pag-open, so, ayan siya. Meron siyang kasama na na puff, cotton puff, and then, yung cotton puff, ang cute-cute lang niya. Meron siyang Althea logo dyan. And then, ribbon na satin pink. Ang cute-cute lang talaga. And super lambot niya. I don't believe may nakita akong ibang puff na ganito kalambot pa sa ngayon. Kasi super lambot talaga. And super smooth. I think perfect talaga siya na ito yung gamitin. Unlike kasi yung iba, yung ibang product, most of the time hindi ko ginagamit yung kasama na puff or brush or whatever applicator. Kasi nga, Usually, sa ibang product, hindi sila ganun kaganda yung quality. But this one is really nice. And pag bago siya, meron lang siya dyan na sticker na, ayan, Hello Beautiful, please remove this sticker before it's cute lang. Para, of course, hindi mag-spill agad yung products um, before you even use it kapag bago lang. Ayan na siya kapag ni-remove mo yung sticker. Pag inalog mo siya, madali siyang lumabas. As you can see, meron ng ibang products na na-dispense kasi medyo na-alog ko siya. So, ibabalik ko lang yung puff para hindi naman maubos agad, ba I already did my makeup, pero hindi ko pa nasiset yung foundation ko. So, I just had, um, ayan, may foundation na, and then, basta may base na ako, and then, kilay and eyeshadow, and may lip tint lang, but I haven't set my makeup yet. So, I will do that now, and then, and parang first impression review to, and sana hindi ako ma-auto-focus kasi, as you can see, kaya ako nakasalamin kasi wala akong contact lens ngayon. Ayan, let's just hope na hindi mag-blur out 
or ma auto focus ako habang ginagamit ko siya. Ang ginamit kong foundation is this one. As you can see, hindi perfect ang base ko kasi wala lang tayong mag, mag ano. Hindi talaga ako magaling mag conceal kasi I have a lot of dark marks um, right now. And medyo tinamad na rin pero okay na yan. Some features of this product is it has natural ingredients. It, it claims to be soft as a flower petal. It has a lightweight formula and cruelty free. Other claims is that it provides hydration, sun protection, and anti it has anti-aging properties. Non-comedogenic. Um, it has sebum control and, well, it's a translucent powder. Na. Basically, it's a loose translucent powder. The powder or the product itself is super fine nya talaga. I think this is the finest powder that I've ever seen. Super fine nya, super light, super smooth talaga, super lightweight. And mabango siya. It actually smells like flowers, floral petals, ganun. But it's not as overpowering na parang nakakahilo mo yun. And since kulay white siya, kahit na sinabi niyang translucent siya, and well, the fact that I have a, I don't have a porcelain skin tone, so hindi ako maputi. So, medyo hindi na ako sobrang itim, di ba? Pero, well, I have medium Filipina skin tone, so I'm... Kapag kasi ganito yung mga skin tone nyo, yung hindi siya yung super puti. Tapos, um, you will use white translucent powders. Even if they're translucent, sometimes they can still make your skin ashy. So, I won't actually use this product to bake my skin because... I think actually Koreans are not um, that into baking, face baking, or baking ng makeup. So, kaya siguro hindi nila naisap mag-add ng ibang um, like colors or shades for this product. Pero yun nga, so I'll just gonna use this as setting powder lang talaga. So, hindi ko na siya, hindi ko na ibibake yung um, makeup ko or base makeup ko. So, I'm, I, uh, yeah. so kumuha lang ako ng konting amount not too much and then i-apply ko muna siya dito sa half ng side itong side half side nitong face ko so ewan ko kung anong register nito sa inyo kung kanan ba to or kaliwa but this is my left side so yan so yan nga hindi masyado maraming ilalagay ko and what's nice about this is that hindi siya well, yung makeup ko, nag-set na siya. Although, I can still feel na medyo slightly tacky pa rin siya. Sometimes, sa ibang product or ibang powder or ibang puff, kapag dinikit mo yung... Kapag in-apply mo na siya sa face mo, dumidikit siya or nag-transfer siya sa puff. Pero ito, this one, hindi naman. Clean pa rin. White pa rin yung puff. So, that's nice. Maganda yun. Tapos, at least hindi... Ad Alimutan ko may, may eyeshadow na mga pala ko. Lagay ko pa siya sa eyelid ko. Anyway... Kasi nga, yun, hindi agad dudumi yung puff nyo. Kaso, masyado kong nadiinan dito si Arian na to. And medyo nag-transfer nyo siya. Tatapusin ko lang muna. And as you can see, maganda siya. Maganda yung effect niya. Super konti lang yung powder na ginamit ko. Hindi, hindi mo naman kasi kailangan ng marami to set your makeup. And if you're not gonna bake naman, you don't, need, you don't really need much kasi naman, girl, sayang naman kasi kapag pinang-bake ko lang to, ba Kasi it only has, ilang grams nga ba to? Uh, I think it only has 3 grams, if not 5. Kasa na ba? And so, it only has 3 grams, actually. Mukha lang siyang marami kasi medyo malaki lalagyan. But yeah, 3 grams lang siya, which is um, konti compared sa mga karamihan na loose powder that we're used to. But, pagdating din sa Korean powder na mga ganito, loose powder, yung formulation niya and the effect that it gives your skin, you don't really need much powder. A little goes a long way. Well, I think, totoo yung claim niya na it um, blurs the pores. Konti, not super duper blurred naman na wala ka na, na super thinness na, especially if you have large pores like meron ako. Maganda yung finish niya kasi it's not, hindi siya yung super matte na matte na mamakang flat and parang naubos lahat ng moisture sa skin mo kasi may mga ibang loose powder na ganun yung effect niya na imamattify talaga niya but then again yung pagmatify niya hindi maganda yung hindi maganda yung effect but this one maganda siya parang natural lang they said na you can use 
brush. But I think okay na ako dito sa puff. So, ito na lang yung gagamitin ko pang apply sa other half of my face. But yeah, as you can see, ayan. This is the half na wala pang powder or yung product. And then, this is the half na meron na. Namako niya talaga. Yung pag nilalagay mo siya, pag ina-apply mo, maaamoy mo, mamako siya. Um, it's a pleasant smell lang. Hindi siya yung masakit sa ilong, masakit sa ulo. It dissipates naman. Like, pag na-apply mo na talaga siya or parang pag na kind of absorb na siya ng skin mo or ng makeup mo. Ay! Matapon! Tapos sa kamay ko, sayang. Ay! Yan! Dumami mo siya. Yun lang ang problema ko kasi kapag ganito na pa. Kapag napadami yung lagay mo, hindi mo na alam paano mong babawasan. feels lightweight on my skin. Super duper lightweight siya. This is probably, walang, walang halong edges. This is probably the most lightweight. The lightest um, powder ever. Kasi it doesn't feel like you have anything on your skin after applying this one. Parang hindi ka nag-add ng product. Parang hindi ka nag-set with powder. Kasi some powders tend to feel kind of heavy or basta ramdan mo na may powder ka. But this one, Unless, um, itouch mo yung skin mo. Kasi ang kinis niya. It makes your skin smooth. Pero unless itouch mo siya, hindi mo ma-feel na meron siyang powder or may additional product. Because it feels like your skin can actually breathe pa. Parang yun nga, nakakahinga pa yung skin. So, that's nice. Tinapos ko lang yung makeup ko. So, konting contour, blush on, lipstick, ayan. Since... It claims to make your makeup last long or longer and controls oil and sea oil or sebum production. So I'm gonna wear this makeup for the rest of the day and we'll see how long it will last on my skin or gano niya katagal na makikip yung ganito niyang itsura. Kasi, ayan, um, after application, maganda siya, di ba? Maganda talaga yung finish niya. So we'll see later. I'll do random check-ins within the day to see how long it will hold up on my skin. Um, it is now... So, bet nyo ba yung ano ko? Wallpaper. <laughs> um, I think I'll go out para makita din natin um, paano siya under natural lighting and if also kung may flashback. And ito siya, under natural lighting. Sorry, yung uh, masyado. Medyo maingay dito sa labas ha? Kaya hindi na ako magtatagal. Pero yan, yan. Maganda siya. ng flashback niya. 4pm na and yan, hihinam na ko masyadong oily. Eh, pero hindi ko kasi makita. Wala akong nadalang salamin at hindi ko rin nadala yung camera ko. Itong phone camera lang gamit ko and hindi ko masyadong sure. So, binlot ko na rin yung mukha ko using uh, tissue lang para lang to see kung may oil or wala. Pero yan, pagtingin ko doon sa tissue, wala naman masyadong oil talaga. Siyempre, nag-transfer konti yung foundation, ganyan. Almost 4 hours since first application, okay yung oil control nitong product na to since andyan pa rin naman siya and mukhang okay pa rin naman yung skin ko or yung makeup ko. Easy application, madali yung retouch. Uh, you just need a mirror or in my case, phone camera na lang yung ginamit ko. Since super fine yung powder and loose na loose talaga siya and very lightweight. Medyo makalit siya if you're not careful. Uh, lumilipad-lipad talaga siya kapag nabigla mo yung pagpat. So, if you want to save as much as you can dito sa product na to or makeup na to, be extra careful. Light-handed lang dapat pag nag a nitong makeup na to. And maganda siya. Even though hindi ko kailangan mag-retouch, since okay pa naman yung makeup ko, parang hindi na nag-coil up yung face ko. Yeah, okay naman siya pag in-apply. It won't cake up your makeup. So, that's nice. So, it is now 9.52 ng gabi. Ngayon lang ulit ako nakapag check-in kasi Sobrang busy. Kanina. Habit na. And so, halos ulas na yung makeup ko. Kasi, lakad ako ng lakad na yung maghapon. Simula nung first check-in ko. Actually, kanina. Mga 3 ata. Eh. Kasi, yun nga, lumabas ako. And yun. Simula nung lakad ng lakad. Hanggang kanina, makauwi ako ng mga 8 ata. Eh. So, syempre, yun. Hula, medyo hulas na. Pero okay lang naman. Kasi, yun nga, given na 
matagal naman and active naman ako today. Parang mga 10 hours since initial application. Normally, ganyan naman talaga yung nagiging state ng makeup ko. Or minsan nga, depende rin sa makeup. Minsan, mas hulas na hulas. Uh, as you can see, okay naman siya. Hindi siya ganun ka shiny. It's been 10 hours since initial application and about 6 to 7 hours since um, first retouch. And actually, only retouch lang kasi hindi na ako nag-retouch ulit after nun. Even though pinagpawisan na ako. Nag-pat lang ako using tissue. Ito lang. So, ayan lang yung nakuha niya. And that's uh, my foundation. Yung, yung mga kulay-kulay niya. Pinat ko lang konti para medyo mabawasan yung oil. But it doesn't really produce much oil than normal. Okay naman siya. And, ayan. And ang maganda sa kanya, kapag uh, pinat mo siya ng oil or pag nag-blot ka, okay na ulit siya. Maganda na ulit siya tignan. Yung parang natural lang. Um, yung hindi super oily or hindi super parang shiny ka. Pasensya na ako parang nagmamadali na ako kasi medyo pagod na rin ako. Kasi nga, late na. And ang daming nangyari ngayong araw. Pagod na pagod lang. And final thoughts, okay naman siya. Maganda itong product na to. I actually like it. Kahit na first time ko palang ginamit, I definitely see myself using this um, every day. Kasi, yun nga, lightweight lang siya. Ang dali lang niyang i-apply. Hindi siya super matte. Ang ganda lang ng finish ng skin. Velvety. Parang natural looking lang. It's nice. Um, the only downside is the price. And, ayun, yung price and the quantity. Kasi it's only 3 grams for 210 pesos. And one size lang sila. So, if you think about it, it's kind of expensive compared sa ibang loose powders in the market. But I think, for me ha, it is worth it naman. Wala kalong echo, hindi porket binigay. I think, kahit ako, you know me, lagi akong bumibili sa Althea, kahit for my own money. So, pili ko, pag naubos ko to, bibili pa rin ako nito. Or, I actually think of gifting this to other people. Kasi nga, gusto kong matry nila. Kasi, maganda siya. If you can get it, kung may budget naman kayo for this, get this and kung may lig lang kayo sa makeup, try nyo kasi okay siya. Okay lang yung price kasi you don't really need much. Hindi naman siya yung pang-bake mo. Eh, hindi siya yung tipong kailangan mong ipang-bake. Eh. I think you can use a different um, powder for baking your face. A different translucent powder and then use this one to set everything on your face or your whole makeup. Parang pang-finishing powder. Gamitin mo siya pang-finishing powder para yung look niya um, medyo na-blur out yung point. Basta yung mukha ka lang flawless, ganun. I think pwede siyang ganun. So, hindi mo pa rin siya yung, kumbaga hindi siya yung pula. Okay lang siya. And longevity is okay. It's fine for me. Kasi nga, at least 3 or 4 hours, okay siya. Um, hindi naman siya nag-oil up masyado sa akin. I have a combination to oily skin type, by the way. And ang maganda kasi, mad madali lang siyang i-touch. Actually, yung iba, uh, usually kasi mga ganitong powder, yung mga Korean loose powder na super duper fine, um, minsan kahit kung oily yung skin mo, minsan hindi mo na kailangan mag-blot. Um, apply mo lang to and then it will, ano, parang makocover niya yung oil ng face mo without making it look cake. I believe, um, kaya din siya medyo mahal for us, like for our standards. Kasi first, they didn't use talk, which is um, isa sa mga controversial or medyo... For other people, may issue sila with talc as ingredient sa mga powders. This one uses mica sa ingredients niya. And then, yun nga, karamihan is uh, natural ingredients. Natural meaning plant-based or plant-derived ingredients. Another one is, it's a Korean brand. So, usually naman, for, pero for, ano, for Korean products, itong price point nito, it's still considered affordable. Um, yeah, yun nga, compared sa iba gusto ko sa kanya, niya, nga, hindi siya mukhang cheap tingnan, ba Na kahit parang sabihin mo, konti lang. Hindi siya yung parang tinipid pa rin. Kasi, you can see naman sa packaging, ginandahan naman sa packaging. So, ang pro naman ng size niya na konti lang siya, maliit lang siya, is that it's very travel-friendly. Pwede mo siyang ilagay kahit sa bulsa mo lang. So, you can definitely take this with you every day um, for touching purposes. Yun nga, so kahit tipong wallet lang yung dalam or kahit wala kang dala, basta mabulsa ka, um, yun. Pwede, pwede mo siyang dalit. I do wish that it comes with kahit small mirror lang. I know most loose powders don't have that in their um, pots or compacts, but it would be nice if there's like kahit manipis lang or um, yeah, small mirror para kahit ito lang talaga yung dala mo, madaling, madaling mag-retouch. 
for Althea's first ever product, this is really good. Um, yeah, they did well. That's all for this review. I hope it helped you in a way. And if you have any questions, um, just leave a comment down below. And I'll definitely answer them as long as I know them. <laughs> and as long as, uh, and as soon as I read it. So, yun. Thank you so much for watching. And see you again next time. Bye! Mm -hmm. Oh,